All right, quick update. End of turn two. I haven't uh, adjusted units facing yet, but the initial Soviet rush. They brought uh, they brought the initiative. Uh, they took the initiative, I should say. And uh, they, you know, came in and picked up, I think, four uh, bridge locations that they needed to capture. Now they need to try and hold what they have, but also take uh, the others. Otherwise, they don't get all of them and it becomes a kill fest. Whoever kills the most uh, high value targets will get the most points and will win the scenario, even though you do need a 200 point advantage, technically based on the scenario rules. To win so <clears throat> they rushed in picked up a couple of bridges here and there over here there's actually a line of sight because you can uh, trace a line of sight through down these roads so there was a tank here they both had fire orders uh, the uh, Brits got initiative they rolled uh, extraordinarily well well not extraordinarily well they rolled 38 it was no big deal uh, but uh, then uh, hit turret front and the and what would have ended up being a miss if the uh, ERA, if you remember, I was talking about that earlier on in one of the other videos, if the ERA had have been in place or in the right place for where the shell hit, right, uh, then they would have it would have been a clang and no kill. But 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 because the e the, the Soviets failed the ERA roll. They, uh, it, it, it hit regular armor and not ERA, one of the ERA blocks, and therefore, kapow, a, uh, a knockout. So we, uh, we knocked out a tank there. This automatically, I think if I remember correctly, automatically suppresses the other unit in the hex. Uh, so he's got suppression on. We'll probably move that to suppression off at the end of the turn, at the end of the turn, and everyone needs to adjust their, uh, their uh, facings and whatnot. The Brits moved in very quickly and said, yeah, let's uh, let's bring all of it in here and let's clean out these BTRs and whatnot. And then we'll get, get some hand-to-hand -hand fighting going on, taking out these other units. So it's gonna get ugly pretty quickly in that little spot. In the meantime, the Soviets decided, well, looks like we didn't plan our attack very well. Uh, we're, we're going to, uh, here's the command unit, we're gonna ori uh, reorient move this way and try and force the, the story here. Meanwhile, this uh, unit out of frame here took a pot shot at a, a BTR and knocked it out in these woods, um, which I didn't adjust actually. That may not have been a kill. Let me just check real quick. It's gonna be medium cover and I rolled, what did I roll? Oh, come on. One, two, three. You know what? I don't think that was going to be a hit because uh, I didn't allow for the cover there. I just missed that. So we'll put that guy back. He missed his shot. He rolled. He doesn't have to roll for ammo just yet, but he will in the near future. Uh, there's uh, two units that have uh, missile capability. Uh, for the maybe the scorpions or Spartans, one of the two. Anyway, uh, so that's that's what's going on there. We'll uh, continue, carry on with turn three. Talk to you soon. Oh, and by the way, I guess it's MBT BAOR module. Blah blah blah.